So hello everybody and welcome back. Before we get started, please like and subscribe. For all of you that keep watching, I really appreciate it. So today we'll be taking a look at this uh, Infantry Tank Mark III Valentine Mark IX. This is in Bronco on 135 scale. So here's our instruction sheet. It says the Valentine was built to be a cheaper version of the, to the Matilda. Didn't know that. I got a Matilda too. So here we have our parts map, parts list. There's a lot of sprues here it looks like. <laughs> it's a sticker. Um, I think this is a, the photo etch maybe. Or it says I. So, there's 16 sprues of plastic, there's 17. The track, 18 pieces like this. And then part of the hull separately. Photo etch, two decal sheets, and here, 17 sprues, I guess. <laughs> Color chart here. So number one here, we have the bottom of the hull. We got uh, this part put inside this box here, and here is the front compartment with the driver and probably the gun or two. And the pre-assembly we put in here looks like pedals two or something and here we built the seat put the seat in so number three we built this piece here it looks like it's the uh, transmission and the sprocket hubs and everything that go together here and this the axle there goes on it too then we build these engine vents, the engine, we have the back piece with the radiators, the engine, engine vents and the transmission and everything that goes in there. It looks like these rotate or something. I'm not really sure what this is telling us. It just has them here to put this way and here on the side. It doesn't really say, I guess you can turn them that way. So number four, we turn the bottom of the hull over. We're doing details here, like these, uh, looks like a support roller here, on both sides. And we pre-assembly for it here. There's some other parts here that go on here. Here. And here we're building, this might be the idler wheel. Then here down here we're building the bogies. And we've got these wheels that go on it too. The little ones on the top. Those look like support rollers. And then the road wheels go on it. And this is more bogies here. Building the sprocket. Then we put the bogies, the sprocket, and the, the idler wheel on. So then we put a track on here. Here we have our fenders and skirts. Look at the fenders and the skirts. Here we got the mud flaps on it too, on both sides. We put our fenders and skirts on. This is for early version only, but then we have it again. I don't know why exactly. Different parts, the mud flaps are different parts and it doesn't tell you. I guess this is, a, this is right side. This doesn't say anything. I guess this is left side probably. Not really sure what these are. It doesn't really tell you either. So here, number 11, we're building the front plate. We got some internal stuff here. And then the, some detail on the top. And here's the top of the front plate. It would be this part here. Building that together. And this is the back plate. Going here. So then we put the front plate on with this turret piece, the turret ring. Got a couple more details that go there. And here's some stuff to put on the turret ring as well. And we put the back plate on with this too. Then here we're building these armored doors for the for these engine vents. 
You can see all this here. And there's also a plate that goes over the oh, this plate goes over the uh, transmission and stuff. And then we put this together. This will be here. The 12. A couple of parts that go there. And we got details here. The lights and stuff that go on the back. Fire extinguisher. Another one. Some other little details there. And here to make an antenna for it. Then here we're building a box because it looks like that. Look. This is the plastic piece and this is the photo etch. You build this together and put the box inside of it. And then we have this pre-assembly here. That's number 13 and 14. And here we put them on 13 and 14. It looks like a spontoon box that goes here on the side. And here we put our exhaust together. As well as this little piece here. You also here option for early and late version for these fender supports. The fuel tanks, uh, the fuel tanks for the side. Some more PE for it, and this is for the exhaust. You have the bands that go around it as well. And here we have the exhaust covers, photo etch exhaust covers. There's the plate that goes here, I guess it protects the exhaust and the sides, shovels and stuff that goes there. A pre, here's a little pre-assembly for it, for that. Then we put our fuel tank on, there's a, a pickaxe head. Here's our lights for the front. And some other little detail parts here, I guess it's the... I'm not really sure. I think it's the ca it looks like the cabling, like protected metal cable cabling, you can see here for the lights. A really detailed looking kit. Then here we have some more late version stuff. More of these protected cables here for these lights on the on the front. And I guess these are the late version lights and stuff that go on the front. Then here we're building. We're starting here with the gun. We have the the gun mount, all these parts, and then the barrel. Here we put the two turret halves together on oh, get these details of going around it. This looks like a grenade launchers. And we got radios going to the back here. And that goes in. And the armor plates on the sides and on the back. And we got these armor doors. Looks like the bottom of the turret here. I don't know, that's the top of the turret here. We're putting all these details together on the top and putting it in. This is the bottom part. You can see these are the periscopes. Then we have a case for the for the back. Building an antenna. Building another antenna. This is putting this case together. Then the, there's these uh, brackets for this the box. And here's another <coughs> photo etch like. Then you have your option to leave these doors open or closed. And then this pre assembly to put together here. And I guess this is optional here. Well, this box here for this side, or this one goes here, and then it's finished. It is a very detailed looking kit. So here we got a version from the Red Army, Eastern Front, 1944, unknown unit. Buccaneer of uh, B Squadron, 50th Real Tank Regiment, North Africa, February 1943. It's a cool one. Option three, Red Army, Eastern Front, 1944, unknown unit again. Option 4, 2nd Armored Brigade, out Nusa camp near Gaza, Palestine in October 1943. And that should be all. I kind of like that one. So here we have two small decal sheets for it. This is some writing stencils and stuff. And here's our unit symbols and everything in this one. Can't really say much about Bronco decals. I've never... I have a lot of their kits, but I haven't 
built one yet. Seems to be a theme. And there's also an additional instruction here for photo etch. Um, we have these two photo etch sprues. So a little one. I think that was probably the additional. Let's see if I can get it in my hands. It just has a couple little parts there. And I got the big one here. Lots of nice detail. This was all together in one little bag. Oh, kind of a bigger bag. Try to put it all back where it was. So here we have sprue A. See on the sprues are fenders. And here's for the the top of the front plate, the turret ring, and the boxes, some of the boxes and some other parts here. Like engine part, grills and stuff. I'm not even sure, like I'm not really sure what these are. I have to see when get put it together. You see look at all the nice detail there. You can see the gears on the turret ring around the right there. On the bottom side here, we got some pin marks here, but they're really light pin marks. Be easy to take off. So here's sprue B. And the engine vent, uh, vent, engine fans, and here's some transmission and the gearboxes and stuff. Also engine vents it looks like here. Parts for the running gear. I'm not even sure what all these are. Lots of small detail parts everywhere here. Got good bolt heads everywhere. And that looks really nice. I'm gonna have to leave some stuff open so we can see the detail on the inside. So Spruce C has multiple parts, and um, this is only two of them, and you see there's an extra one on this one, so we're just going to look at that one, because these are the same here. And this is CA, CB, and CC, the CQ. You see it's running gear. Parts for the bogies, road wheels, sprocket, the springs, wheels, here's the bogey parts. And those are like covers, like engine covers and stuff I think. Or oh, those are the fenders. And see, look how the springs look. They're really, really nice. Good bolt heads, the sprocket looks good, the wheels look good. Nice detail around here. The parts look pretty good. These are also spruce C's. And you can see these two are the same. And this one has an extra run on it. I can even read it. So this is CE on the top and CZ on the bottom. And some like lots of detail parts like here's the tow shackles and fire extinguishers. These are the cablings for the lights. I'm not even sure what that piece is, but it looks really good. handles. This one's kind of broken a little bit. I can be okay, I think. And see the bolt heads around here. It's nice, too. Then we have sprue D. 
and DA. You can see we have the turret halves on the top of the turret. Um, like a lot of the boxes and a bunch of the detail parts and stuff. The back box is like for the gun, the mount for the gun. You can see on the turret, there's some nice detail there. Some nice molding. It looks really like it's a cast. Kind of rough cast. Some bolt heads around there. And the gun parts look good too. And see the hinges on the hatches. Nice details on these parts. It was really tight in the bag too. Anyway, here we have Sprue. And here we have Sprue E. This is our fuel tank there. Just a bunch of detail parts, really. Smaller parts. This thing has a lot of small parts on it. And like good bolt heads around here. Nice detail here. Nice bolt heads. Fenders look good. Or the mud guards. This is Sprue GE. See our front plate in the back? And just a couple other little parts too. But it's a nice molding, nice bolt heads. Good detail. This is Sprue GE. Our Sprue G has our skirts and the mounts here for them. You can see this knife got bolts around there too. Sprue GB. See our gun on it. It's a nice hollow end, one piece. I wouldn't say we need a metal one for this, you can make that good. Bolt heads everywhere. Or maybe the rivets, I don't know, I'm not even sure. And then we have the bottom of the hole. It's an extra piece. Some nice detail on the bottom. Good texturing. Bolt heads or rivets, I'm not even sure which one it has. But it looks good. And this is I have a, a small clear sprue. It has five periscopes on it, plus a couple other little parts. <clears throat> then we have this additional sprue they put in there. It's for that one box, or the two boxes at the end that we built. Um, then we have all this track. Let me see the track. Pretty good looking track. I don't see pin marks around there. Kind of weird how they got it on runs like this and not a big one though, but it's okay. That was all inside the bottom of the hole in the bag. Put it back where it was. <laughs> I think this model kit looks really amazing. It has very good detail everywhere. We got photo etch, we got uh, four different options we can build. It's a really good kit. I'm really... You now I have a couple of Edward kits and I'm liking Bronco better to tell the truth. I tried to start on the P39Q from, from Edward and that thing is complicated. I also started on an ME410 from Ming. That's complicated. This looks like it'll be easier maybe. Uh, too tired usually for complicated stuff. I like easy builds. I do recommend this kit. Every, everything I've seen from Bronco looks pretty good, to tell the truth. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And join me next time we're going to take a look at this Douglas A1H Sky Raider from SE Ravel. Ravel SE in 148 scale. Along with that, I'll also be reviewing this aircraft weapon set that I got for it. Because it seems to have a lot of empty pylons.
and it's going to need uh, a lot of extras, which I have bought for it already. So, so weapons, the AH one. Thanks for watching. Until then, bye.